Alright guys, so a few days ago I left the country for vacation and unfortunately that is when the game released so I recently just got back into the states and I'm ready to go. I'm about to grind like there is no tomorrow. So this is episode number three. If you missed episode number one and two, it will be in the description. So make sure you check those out. Now you guys know a few months ago, I got invited by 2K Sports to fly out to LA. And basically it was to get my face scanned into the game. You right? Neutral face, lips together. Now they told me this face scan will be available for my career and here is the rendering. Episode number three, which is this one right here, will include my official face scan. So, I hope you're ready. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. Hey, welcome to LA, sir. Thanks, man. You ready to go? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, this is weird, but I was just so excited to see signs written in English. <laughs> L.A., baby. Hey, AI. Oh, hey. Glad I found you. How's it going? They're uh, just uh, wrapping up in there. Oh, yeah, it's great, man. Hey, look, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, airport traffic was totally brutal. No worries. We're used to it. I'm uh, Darren Stackhouse, coach of the South Bay Lakers. Yeah, yeah, it's a G League team, right? Hey, Marcy, you got to read on my lunch? I want a tuna and cheese on seven grain bread, and then these sprouts they like to stick in there. Come on, uh, let me give you the rest of the tour. That's really nice you, coach, but I slept on the plane and I'm good to go for practice, seriously. Okay, but those guys are wrapping up in there. Practice doesn't start for another hour. Wait, they're wrapping up? Yeah, the Lakers. So, the, uh, the locker room is down here, saying this is a brand new facility, our home. And your new home, what's the problem, kid? My new home. Your new home. Now listen, our roster's a little depleted this year, okay? We got some problems, but I got high hopes for you. Uh, uh, co Coach, um... Stackhouse. Co yes, Coach Stackhouse. Name is Coach Stackhouse. <laughs> Sometimes things aren't completely clear. Are you saying that I left the Shanghai Bears for the South Bay Lakers? Yes. Not the Los Angeles Lakers. Did someone tell you you were coming here to play in the NBA? Wow, so this whole time I thought I was coming to LA to play in the NBA? but it's actually to play for their G League team. This is crazy, I mean it's a step back, but I like this story, I like where we're headed. And look at your boy's face! This is very creepy, this is too real. Sorry! Uh, hey! I understand you! Yeah, I hope so. No, I'm, I'm saying I understand. It's it's refreshing. Shut up. You know, I brought you here. At least, I called Stackhouse and he listened. Wait a minute, you you're the guy from after the game in Shanghai. Who are you? My friends call me Big Two. If you guys don't know who this is, it's Anthony Mackie, the actor who's played in like Captain America, 8 Mile Avengers. His role in my career is a scout who recommended me to the Lakers G League team. I'm like an old man on the beach with a metal detector, trying to find that piece of gold no one else sees. Hey coach, uh, coaches. Hey I. You know everyone on this team really appreciates everything you've done, you know that right? <sighs> Well, I haven't had a chance to do anything yet, Coach, but uh, I'm excited to win this team some games. I mean, Y'all need me. <laughs> so um, what is going on here? Well, we, we, we made a deal, and, and Reggie's was in the deal we made, and we got a player, plus they're covering our Reggie's bill for a full year as, uh, as part of the trade. Trade for what? Wow, so we just got traded from the Lakers G League to the Pacers G League. Business, Are you kidding me? Where am I going now? Quickly made my way to Have Indiana and met my uh, head coach. Okay. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the Mad Ants, son. 
Thank you, sir. And of course, later on, went into the locker room to meet my teammates. I got you, I got you, bro, I got you. Would you just hold still? I'm only gonna do this once. All right, out. I miss, I pay for every dinner. AI, lock is over there. Make sure to put a new plate on this morning. Hey, thanks, man. Hey, wait, um, you Paul Tatum, right? Yeah. <sighs> Four scenes with the Bulls, six with the Heat. <laughs> One of those with the ring. Yeah, now I'm a mad ant. Are we working together? Yeah, that's the plan. Oh, baby. With you at my side, we gonna kill it, man. I can't wait. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm excited to see what we can do out there. Thanks. Hey, uh, can I get through real quick? No, I'm good. Look, bro, I'm, I'm gonna need you to slide over, okay? That's my locker. I'll see you on the floor. <sighs> Uh-oh. Yo, that dude has issues. Hey, yo, what's up with him? Him? Is that a trick question? <laughs> no, the dude who's just by my locker, you know, only speaks in two-word bursts. He actually talked? It's Marcus Young. Must be warming up to you. That's good to know. So, I hear we get you and South Bay gets a deli counter? <laughs> Point guard too, but yeah. Open tab at a sandwich shop was part of the deal. Apparently it's on all the important lists. <sighs> I love lists. Okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, so, anything else I should know about this place? Okay, so it breaks down like this. The bus. Don't even waste space in your bag for one of those neck pillows. It doesn't matter. You're not gonna sleep. You know, old gym socks everywhere. You know, basically, it smells like the 70s. And keep your shower time to a minimum. It's just good business because there's always a line. You guys kinda know to look out for each other here. Come on, let's move it! The food, you already know about. Since we're always on the move, it's typically cheap and local. With local meaning a highway convenience mart or hotel vending machine if we don't have time for a longer stop. And we play cards, lots and lots of cards. Buy a deck, because playing Euchre or Beret with a few clubs missing just makes a bus ride that much longer. We have one of the toughest schedules in the league. And most of those travel miles are through stretches of the country that make your phone as useful as a paperweight. <laughs> Welcome to the Mad Ants. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I, yo, check this out, man. When we get out there, I want to be sure that we are clear about who I am and who you are. <laughs> hey, look, man. Coach wanted me here. Okay, that means that he thought that the roster was missing something. It was lacking. Now, I know who I am. So if I was to take a guess about who I would say you are, I'd say you're lacking. It's my team. It's not yours. It's never going to be yours. I'm going to get my numbers. Hey, man, everyone gets numbers. But they got to be big if they mean something. Okay. Let's see who scores the most points tonight, okay? Wow, very interesting. We already have a rivalry going on in the locker room. That should be interesting. And we're set to make our G League debut. Now, guys, right now I'm 60 overall. We're going to go ahead and buy every single attribute that we have available. And, of course, if you guys have been enjoying this video, be sure to slap that thumbs up button. We are now 85 overall. And, of course, it comes with a lot of good perks. But for now, we're not in the NBA yet. We got to focus on our first G League game. Now, this is very interesting because they have a lot of cameos happening here. Guys that were in previous my careers like ATM, Jackson Ellis. We do win the tip off. Here we are. In our debut. Oh, look at me. Unselfish play. Moments later, the score is 16 and 8. We get ourselves a nice little steal here on the fast break. Going up with the easy dunk. Now, I completely forgot to change my animation. So, you know, your boy had that little basic high school dunk. It's all good, though, because once we make it to the NBA, that's when I'm going to add all of my animations, the three-pointer right there. 
the icing on the cake. It's a six point game with 21 seconds left. And here is the finishing dunk. Our debut was basically a breeze as we won 68 to 63. Move it. <laughs> Give me a second. Think you own the court? You think you own this locker room now? Nah, but uh, I think I just scored more points than you tonight. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing tomorrow night, and the next, and the next. That's how it is? Whoa, huh? Whoa, whoa. That's what you hey, think? Hey, whoa, whoa, guys! Is that what you think That's is gonna hey, happen? Hey, 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 huh? it's okay, man, it's okay. Two breaded pork tenderloins. Thanks, Joe. On the house, Paul. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. What is this? Breaded pork tenderloin? Come on, bro. This is an Indiana staple. What's up? You're Paul Tatum, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at that, man. You still get recognized. And, as and you should. You're AI. Uh, yeah. Hey. You you guys, both of you guys are like my favorite player on, on the Mad Ants. <laughs> Mad Ants? You a fan? I'm Zach. Zach Coleman. Guy, guys, it's the Mad Ants! It's the Mad Ants! Mad Ants! I told you it was them! Fans of the Mad Ants? <laughs> yeah, man, are you kidding? I grew up in this town my whole life, but I feel like I know this world, man. I know the game. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, but I consider myself like a social media maven. I, I know how silly that sounds coming out of my mouth, but I'm serious, dude, look. Let me see this, man. Oh, look, you got 50,000 followers? Yo, what did you say you did? 51.4, but everything, dude, ad campaigns, I boost the social media presence of all these local businesses. Right now I'm driving people to the Wayne Grove. I'm helping this small coffee shop down by the river. They're outselling even the big guys by the courthouse, dude. But even if they weren't blowing up, I would make sure they were blowing up. But sometimes, it's just great to support a product that you actually believe in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. you know, a, a coffee refill would be good. About I'm really close to this business being big enough to quit this job, but... Enough about me. What about you guys? I mean, the Mad Ants and you, AI, you guys don't have a social media presence. Nothing comes up. I'm, you know, I'm been a little busy playing basketball. Don't really I, have time I'm not time saying that you show. should worry about it, but maybe I should be worrying about it, man. Ever since you threw down that sick dunk on Corey Harris in Shanghai, you've been a social media ghost. I mean, do you have a social media manager? Because I could be your social media manager. <laughs> Or just your regular manager, if you don't have uh, one of those. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I don't, but um, thank you, though. Appreciate hey, that. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. Think about it. Now, after breakfast, me and my teammate Paul Tatum, which it seems like I'm building a lot of chemistry with him right now. Paul's dead, of course. We went to the farm to play a game. And you already know, I had to give him the work. Another three right here. Yo, this mode was actually really fun. What's going on? Uh, directions to the Indiana State Fair. Charity brief again. Coach says we gotta take shifts, man, in the meet and greet. Says we're with the Pacers group. Dude, we'll be lucky to get near the cheerleading section. They do this every year. Isn't this fun? This is so fun. Oh, I'm having the best time. All right, step right up and get your picture taken with the Mad Ants. Now, as you guys see, we came out here to the carnival and it took no time for me to find a girl. And I tried to impress her. And win her like a teddy bear or something. Doesn't appear to be your but yo, this was not my day. As you guys see, I missed my shot. But look at her. Well, man. Even though we're in the G League now, things could be much worse. Because look, we have a virtual girl now. Um, my friends and enemies call me Nikki. AI. It, it's Zach, right? Yeah, AI. Hey, how you doing, man? Dude. Good to see you. So right after you left, I got to thinking, what if I could cut together some clips from some of your sickest plays over the last couple of years and make a sizzle reel? Now, there's not a whole lot online, but I was able to track some down. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> Man, where did you find all this? Man, I just told you I made it. Wait, you made this just since we met at lunch? Yeah, it doesn't take long. Rip some clips, editing software, add some music, done. And you can put all this on social media? I can make this set fire to social media, like crash sites. Yeah, maybe not actually do that, you know. I have this problem with overpromising. I'm trying to catch myself when I start to do it. But we're doing pretty good so far, man. 1,500 retweets already. People are taking notice. We're gonna make them take notice, dude. You give me a couple days. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, would you like to be my new social media rep? Full time? 
I mean, don't get ahead of yourself. Also, I can't get ahead of myself since I can't really afford full time, so... Hey, no worries. I'm gonna be working all the time anyway. All right, well, come to the game tomorrow then. I will be there, and maybe try and hit some stuff to help me diversify the reel, like assists. Maybe a triple-double? I'll see what I can do. All right. <laughs> all right, baby. Hey, come to the corn maze with me. Yeah, I hear it's a totally different experience if you go through the exit and the corn's kind of looking away from you. How young? It's very, very awesome. Come on. Tay-Tay, you come too. You can come. Oh, he did not just call me Tay-Tay. We have come to the end of episode number three. I tried to get you guys more gameplay, but there was just too many cutscenes or else this video would have been like 30 minutes long. But like I said, if you missed episode one and two, there's a link in the description to the full playlist. So be sure to check those out. Tomorrow, I'm coming at you with episode number four. Continue being amazing, people. I'm signing out.